Hello, Healthy Runners. My name is Courtney White. I'm from Wichita, Kansas. I'm married, I'm 41, and I'm the mom of two girls. Dwayne had reached out to me and just asked if I would share a little bit about what my experience has been like thus far within the Healthy Runner coaching program. So I've been a part of the program since April of this year and been working with Coach Kat, and she's been phenomenal, so a big shout out to her. If I'm like many of you guys, I am an adult onset runner. I did not grow up running, and so I began this running journey within my late 30s. While trying to do so, having three consecutive surgeries within the last three and a half years. Two of them were bunionectomies, so I wanted to correct that. And then one of them was an aroma that most likely developed because I was wearing two tight fitting shoes at the time. I was overtraining and not paying enough attention to things like recovery, strength training, and my nutrition. And so, what uh, I did was I did what most of us do is we just go online. I went on the internet, I found a plan. I was like, this is what you do when you run. You run and you just do it. And I didn't have any idea about how to tailor that plan to where I was within my healing journey for my feet. And so unfortunately that led to more pain and more inflammation in my feet. And I developed metatarsalgia within the ball of my left foot. And if you've ever had that or struggled with that or been diagnosed with that, you know it's kind of nebulous. Uh, people say you have it. Well, it's just inflammation within your foot. And um, what I was told to do to fix it was just go to PT and stretch your calf and stretch your calf. And man, you have tight calves. And I'm like, I don't know what else to do. And so um, I consulted with PT after PT provider after provider and finally I had one podiatrist look at me and say listen there's only one way to correct your foot and that's to have surgery and for me the thought of having another one after having had three and knowing what it had been like to start running stop running have an injury have pain I just felt sick to my stomach having to think about going through one additional surgery that may or may not fix the problem and so I was told that's the only way when you're told something like that, if you're anything like me, you go, mm, I don't think so. There's got to be another way. I just haven't found it yet. But I was just in more frustration because I was just not finding the answers and nothing I was doing was working. And so I came across Dwayne's podcast. I don't know how I found it, but I did. And I felt like this guy from Connecticut who was passionate about running was reading my mail and he was speaking directly to the pain points that I was having, but he was also inspiring me with hope and teaching me things that I had never heard before. And so I reached out to him. I was like, what do I have to lose? I am in pain as it is and I just can't get out of this injury cycle and it's frustrating and I'm becoming depressed and more of a shell of myself. And so the first time I reached out to him, he and I decided it was probably a little too premature uh, within my recovery journey to be able to commit to what the coaching program would involve. But fast forward six months from the end of 2021 to April of this year, I reached out to Dwayne again and I, I said, listen, I've got some things in place and I, I want to do this. And so he and I decided that uh, it would be beneficial for me to be able to commit to the Restore program and to do it. And I just can't be more thankful for what Dwayne and from what Coach Kat told me. Um, I was told surgery is the only way to fix your foot. I heard from them there's other ways and there are plenty of other runners out there, Courtney, that are doing what you do every day and they're doing it well. And they're running with these types of these issues in their feet without surgery. And so I was like, what do I have to lose? So I joined the community. Um, I've been working with Coach Kat intentionally and consistently. And I'm proud to say that today, four months into this, while I am uh, slowly learning how to build my mileage back, I am running mostly pain-free. I haven't developed any additional foot injuries. And I have seen over the last four months that my feet can tolerate more of a load than they ever have. Some of the imbalances that I had had that were longstanding for me are uh, starting to balance themselves out uh, by me doing the work. And 
um, I'm looking forward to what may be next. Things that I've never done related to running that because of pain I would have been unable to do. Um, and I guess more importantly, I've been doing this and I haven't had one additional surgery on my foot the way I was told that that would be the only way to fix a pain in my foot. And I'm doing this without having to go through that at this point. So I couldn't be more, be more grateful for Dwayne and the team for all that they do to help us as a running community be able to do the sport that we love to be able to do it for the long haul and to be able to do it injury free. And so more than anything, I have just learned and benefited from having someone put a structure in place for me regarding strength training and runs that I need to be doing for this stage of recovery and healing and in my run journey than me trying to piece it together on my own. So couldn't be more grateful for Dwayne and the team and Coach Kat. And I'm not done working with her. I'm going to continue working with her within the longevity program. And we're going to see what's next. So um, I'm grateful because a coach is going to inspire you to do more than you think you can do on your own. And I just couldn't be more grateful for Dwayne and his team in giving me some tools and a change in mindset that I needed to be able to, uh, to, be able to run and to run well at this stage of my life so thank you to them thank you for the team and guys i don't know where you are today but i um my hope is that you go out and you crush your workout no matter how big or how small it is and all the best to you in your running journeys thanks